hit dogs holler right what's going on this is red pill mystic um now this video hit dogs holler what does that mean right have you ever met someone who you can tell they've had a hard life or they've admitted to you they've had a hard life and they've been betrayed in the past they've gone through certain abusive treatments whether physical verbal um, you know, emotional. And uh, you can tell it's made them mistrusting in a way. It's it scarred them a little bit. It's made them a bit, you know, skeptical. I will even admit about myself that I'm kind of like that, you know. Um, I, I've been, I guess you can say, not so much abused physically, but even I've been, you know, betrayed, abandoned before. And uh, I, I, I have, even I have a bit of a fear, you know. So people who know me, like closest friends of mine, like I'm kind of jumpy. And uh, if they sneak up on me, like I jump right away and I go into like the defensive mode. It's just like an instinct. It's from feeling, you know, like you've been lacking, right? So growing up lacking, growing up without a support system, you just feel like you're kind of this, you kind of feel like a, like a feral animal to a small degree right a lot of a lot of uh children from single parent households have this right so you're just a little defensive you might be a little snappy you might be a little mistrusting um but there are levels to that right and although i have that a little bit there it, it doesn't it doesn't really affect my judgment that much and it doesn't it doesn't uh it doesn't make me do crazy things right to to, to, to protect myself from getting fucked over. See, a lot of people are, are so severely beaten, severely damaged, beaten down by life. They're like, they're like beaten animals, right? And they don't, they don't, they've become so, I guess you can say scorned that they don't believe love exists. They don't believe good people exist. They think everything everyone is doing is a manipulation, right? Because everything they're doing is a manipulation. You see what I'm saying? So they think, okay, if I'm this way, there's no way anyone else is better than me. So anytime you do something nice for them or anytime you're just genuine with them or upfront or honest with them, they think that you have an end goal. They think you have this big end game of how you're going to fuck them over, right? Right? And, and and if any of you guys who have followed me on YouTube long enough, you've seen the situations I've had with YouTubers I used to be cool with. More than one, more than one of them who I was, you know, very proud to have uh, learned stuff from. And so I would shout them out and I would send people to their channel and I would send business their way. And uh, at first they would be appreciative. And then over time... It's like they think there's this end goal. They think there's this big manipulation that I'm trying to play, right? They think it's part of a big bait and switch scheme. And it wasn't. It's just like, yo, I appreciate your shit. I'm going to send you some business. I'm going to send you some of my subscribers. I'm like, I'm grateful to learn some shit from you. But even people who are sometimes like teachers or mentors, even they can become beaten down and scorned. And we've seen it all before. We've seen, you know, teachers who turn on their students, uh, People turn on each other, right? And you've got to know, you've got to know when you're, you've got to know when you are dealing with a, an animal that has been beaten down so badly to where they're never going to trust ever again and they're never going to, uh, they're almost going to attack you if you deal with them in any way, right? They're going to try to find a way to rip you off before you rip them off. They think that if you even deal with them, that you, you, you're out to get them, right? So they're going to they're gonna try to fuck you over before you can even fuck them over. But you most likely aren't even trying to fuck them over, right? So you've got you've to learn quickly in life. And this applies to anyone, man, woman, whoever. I've had this happen with girls I was dating where it's like they tell me I'm too good to be true. And it's not because I'm this amazing fucking guy, right? It's not because I'm like seven feet tall and have a 40-inch dick and a million dollars in the bank. It's just because I treat them better than terrible so they think I'm too good to be true because all they think they deserve is someone who treats them terrible. You see what I'm saying? Now, when, when, when you start getting signs like this from people, 
you know, and it's going to sound fucked up what I'm about to say, because I'm not the type of person that likes to give up on people like whatsoever. You know, my, my, my nature is to give and to serve. And I, I take great and joy in that. But you've got to know when to press the eject button when you're dealing with someone who has been so beaten down by life that they're, you can just tell they're going to bite you. You can just tell if you stick around them long enough, no matter how positive your influence is, they're going to find a way to try to fuck you over, right? Because what you can tell, you can tell these people live in their minds a lot. See, they don't really feel a lot. They don't really, they've been, they've been so beaten down. They don't really feel that much anymore. They live in their heads and your mind will only ever come up with schemes and scams and manipulation. Your, 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 your soul, your heart is what really feels things out to feel if something's right, to feel if something's genuine. Your mind just comes up with ideas. If you live too much in your headspace, you become sick. You become just analytical and you view everything in life as a manipulation, as a plan, as a scheme. You know, you stop believing that there's enjoyment and there's, there's, there's genuine people that just enjoy giving and, you know... And, and, and life is about giving and receiving, right? You take joy in both. But when you become a sick, beaten down person and you live in your head all the time, you just think life is about taking and everything just becomes a manipulation, a scam, a scheme, taking. Um, and you've, you've just got to, you've kind of got to develop like a, a fingertip feel or like a sit sense of how to tell when someone is damaged beyond repair and 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 how soon you need to get away from them this video isn't even about trying to save them you can't save the damned once someone reaches a certain point of abuse in life they they become like a rabid dog or like a rabid animal and they're just gonna go around biting everything in sight they're gonna go around attacking everything in sight you know, and you just have to keep, you just literally have to remove yourself from this person's life. This applies to men and women. I've had this happen with guy friends. I've had this happen with women I've dated. You know, I've even had this happen with fucking family members. Like straight up, like they, they're just, they're, they're so toxic now. They're so manipulative. Their, their worldview, look, everyone's a little bit jaded in life. Okay. I don't care how peaceful, how enlightened you become, right? How the, I don't know what detached, disattached you become from the matrix and from your ego. You're always going to be a little bit jaded, a little bit scorned because, you know, the fact of the matter is this life is just a bitch. Like it's a fucking bitch. The, the current state of affairs, like life is a bitch right now, right? But you can't deal with someone who is, you can, you can tell like the levels of jadedness that people have, right? And you, and when you, when you believe that you feel someone, you felt someone out, and you can tell they're just at that point of no return, you just have to press the eject button straight up. You just have to remove yourself from their life, and let them just fall into the abyss of darkness. You know, and it's it's a tragedy. It's it's sad, but this this kind of shit happens, and you're only risking you're only risking taking so much abuse if you deal with someone like this that you become just as jaded in um what is it like unsavable if you stick around that energy for too long so you have to be careful not to let that bring you down you know that's really just it you know and you can tell you can tell when you're dealing with one of these sick beyond repair individuals because the slightest criticism the slightest thing that irritates them will send them into an immediate defensive um well i guess you can call it they'll get defensive but then they'll, they'll go on the offensive they'll start trying to rip you apart if you do or say anything that they don't like or they don't agree with a lot of times these people just snap right away they're very aggressive and you're like whoa chill the fuck out like all i said was you you could improve this slightly you know all i said was mm, maybe you should ch change this a little bit and they will just snap the fuck they will freak the fuck out right when someone when someone just replies incredibly crazy to something you do or say, right? And and you know what you did or said isn't that crazy. It may be a slight criticism, a slight critique, you know, and, and they just fly off the fucking handle and like, fuck you, motherfucker, I'm going to make you wish you were never born. Da, 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 da. And they're just like verbally like firing bullets at you. You're probably dealing with a person who's damaged beyond repair. Like that's that's a sign of someone who's been severely beaten down. Because a chill, a chill, relaxed person, you know, a, a fairly happy person, isn't gonna have such an energetic emotional response, right? But um, 
<laughs> it's funny because I have multiple people going through my mind right now, some of which my subscribers know of who I'm talking about, that are just so beaten down by life where it's like the slightest criticism, slightest criticism they're going to fly off the handle. They're going to start trying to curse you or curse at you or call you all kinds of name or say how they're going to make you suffer or say how they own you and how they're going to manipulate you. And it's like, bro, like who hurt you that bad to make you that, you know, it's fucked up, man. It's really fucked up. But, you know, the only thing more fucked up than a person like that is the decent person getting abused trying to help a person like that. So you got to know when to just cut the cord. You got to know when to just walk away from these people. And they're going to just descend into madness anyway because people will just ignore them. People get tired of being uh, uh, of them trying to use them as a punching badge, so they walk away from them. And then these people just ramble to themselves and lose their minds. you know. And these people, they become truly miserable because they eventually run out of people to talk to. Eventually, no one wants to put up with that shit because people are attracted to, to, to loving energy that helps them grow, right? People are attracted to drama, sure, but there's, there's a breaking point where the drama gets too intense where people just tune the fuck out, you know? So you, 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 you just have to let these people just fade into oblivion by themselves, and it's really a tragedy, but some things in nature are just irreversible, you know? And it is what it is, man. Hit dogs holler.